maybe fighting yourself a little bit early on? Is that the case? Um, I mean, not necessarily. Uh, early on, I still got ahead of batters. I just didn't didn't finish pitches. Um, and, re and really, it was just mainly two pitches that I didn't execute where I wanted. Um, I mean, the slider to Byron kind of just backed up. Um, had had no really horizontal break, just vertical. And uh, he sees spin well, and he put a good swing on a ball. Um, and then other than that, it was just a changeup that was left up. When you're having a day like that where it, maybe the results aren't as indicative of how you felt and how you felt like you were mm -hmm. executing, is that maybe even more frustrating? Um, I mean, a little bit. Um, I mean, ultimately, I just got to execute pitches, uh, especially later in counts. And um, when I'm ahead in counts, uh, I gave up a lot of hits that are – that were, I was ahead in counts, and um, I can't do that. For you, what he had talked about maybe let, giving you a little bit of a longer leash today, do you feel like you're starting to build that up to where that pitch count can go higher and you build on that? Uh, definitely. Um, I felt like I can get longer outings going uh, or more pitch count, like higher pitches, uh, I mean, a while ago. Um, I feel good. I feel ready to be extended, um, but obviously, like I, I know why they're doing this, um, and it, it was nice being able to go more pitches in this. Just because I mean, I, I ran through I think 60 something pitches in three innings, um, and I think I threw 20 something more in that fourth inning. Just um, if it was my normal 70, 75, I mean, I'm out the third inning. Thanks, Dave. Other questions. Chris. Hey, Dean. Um, you know, you had success early on when it came to results. Um, is there one thing in particular that you've seen that how leaders have adjusted to you over time? Um, I mean, it's they're they're putting good swings on balls that I don't I'm not executing. Uh, just a couple pitches that I'm leaving up in the zone, but uh, putting good swings on it. So I know you're not you know, afraid of contact, but whenever a team is racking up the hits like they were today, um, how, what does that do to your psyche exactly? Uh, nothing. Um, I mean, I'm going to keep filling up the zone. I'm going to keep trying to get early contact. Um, I'm going to keep trying to get weak contact. Um, it's just got to be a little bit smarter late in the count, just knowing that I need to bury pitches and – I mean, other than that, it's just I felt like I, I mean, I executed pitches for the most part, uh, just left a couple up. What else? Alex? Hey, Dan, when they go over you know, longer leashes, shorter leashes, are you aware of that weeks before or the day of? Uh, nope. Um, I mean, he's asked me if I wanted to know, and I told him no. Um, I don't. I don't want to know when I'm getting pulled out of games or if I'm on a leash at 70 pitches or 80 pitches, because um, I don't. I don't want to think about that during the game. I know I want one focus, and that's the hitter and each pitch and what I'm throwing. Thanks, Dave. No problem. Anything else? Back to Chris. I just want quick to follow up. Um, what the changes that are going into effect tomorrow with the illegal substances and everything? Do you have any kind of thoughts on how baseball is uh, is handling the situation by getting rid of all the potential substances, including like some screen laws and things like that? Um, I mean, I don't really have much to say on that. Um, I mean, I personally have never used any like any stuff at all. Um, I mean, it really is no problem. I think the main problem, at least for me, is just. We're still getting some of last year's baseballs and this year's baseballs. And, I mean, you can see multiple pitchers just constantly tossing out baseballs because it's – you get one ball that rubbed up and one ball that feels like it's a cue ball in your hand. Um, but, for, I mean, I, I don't really have much to say on the, the sticky substances because I've never used it. Kennedy? Completely different, yes. Okay. I just wanted to clarify that. Yeah. Um, um, sorry. A second, you said something about your changeup. Did you say you felt good with the changeup or wasn't good? 
Uh, no, I felt good with my changeup. I just left one up. Um, I mean, I felt like I was actually executing my changeup very well. I was throwing it in good counts, even when I was behind or ahead. Um, I just left one. It was just kind of middle, middle, and that's where the the two run single came into play. Um, if I get that, you know, outer half or even on the bottom of the zone, that's I mean, that's the difference of a swing and miss or a rolled over ground ball. Um, it just wasn't executed. Yes. Um, I mean, I felt like for the most part, I was executing my pitch as well. It's just once I get, once I got to 0 2, 1 2, or even then, I was trying to put away guys and I wasn't, and pitches were either hung or um, just left in the zone. And I mean, they put good swings on it. So you're more of a that contact guy for the most part. Do you find yourself trying to put away guys like with a strikeout, and that's where you struggle, I guess? Um, I mean, I give myself a chance if I, if I get, you know, two strikes early on, I'll try to, you know, take a pitch or two to put away a guy. But after that, it's, I'm going to try to fill it up and get weak contact.